Well, cell phone, like I said, the, the research is still out. They don't know. Most of the studies that the cell phone companies did were in ideal situations. Because, for instance, if you have a cell phone here and the, the, the actual radiation is coming through your brain, that's different from when it's coming that way. So it just depends. I mean, there's ideal conditions. Most of the studies that the cell phone companies did were in ideal conditions. And I have a friend who's a CEO of a cell phone company, so I know I got this from first hand, right? So we don't know if it's safe at all, but generally before the age of about 15, because the, the, the brain, the, the jum jum, you know, the, the skull is developing. So before that, if you're going to use it, even for adults, they should be used. It's better to use it with an earphone. Keep it away from the body. That's what they say. Hold it away from the body. Or use it with the uh, voice on. Or text. A lot of uh, young people prefer to text anyway. Texting is safer uh, than that. But radiation is real. It's radiation. It's low-grade radiation, but it's radiation. People keep it in their pockets. We don't know how it's going to affect fertility rates. Uh, you know, the, the male sperm count around the globe is half of what it was 50 years ago. So we know that, you know, fertility rates are being seriously affected. They think it has to do with plastics because plastics are estrogen mimickers. And so all this plastic that everybody's living in, everything's plastic. Your car's plastic. A lot of people wearing polyester. That it's actually affecting our bodies. You know, so there's a lot of very uh, troublesome things going on. But generally, I'd be very careful. You should not be spending a lot of time on a cell phone. Use it for emergencies. If you have a cell phone, they're useful tools. But I would use it for emergencies. I have a cell phone in my car. I don't like to use cell phones to talk on. Mm-hmm.